Okay, somebody, I'm not sure who it was, wanted me to talk a little bit about Alzheimer's and dementia. I actually think that I have a video on this out there. Um, but there are many, many reasons why someone would have the experience of both dementia and Alzheimer's. But for the most part, the majority, not all, because there's many different versions, but for the most part, a lot of the Alzheimer's and dementia patients or, yeah, patients, are people that are they are in alternate realities. And that is the reason why if you try to argue with them, they'll fight you really hard. If you just go with them and don't argue with them, um, they'll be very calm. Because in they're seeing, feeling, um, what they see around them is a very different place than what you see. And it is another form of experience. Some people are transitioning um, into their next life. Um, early they're doing it they're removing energy from one life going into the next kind of at this simultaneous moment some of them it's on purpose some of them it's uh, kind of a glitch um, there's not really such a thing as a glitch but it, it is in a way that they didn't necessarily they're more uh, they're moving really really fast removing energy from one place and putting it another and sometimes although it seems like it might go on for 10 years when you're creating stuff in the now um, uh, time can get a little time can be a little linear time space can get a little funky to manage especially if you're somebody who um, doesn't have a lot of experience in linear time space getting those moves done right where you move from one into the other um, can be a, a, can get a little bit off it can get a little skew uh, yeah and really that's true with uh, dementia and Alzheimer's now dementia that is not based on old age has got a lot of other things that it can be but I'm talking about dementia that is from uh, based on old age. Alzheimer's and dementia also are a part of, let's say, the questions around the brain, the human brain, and scientists who have asked questions about how the brain works. And so what will happen is there will be things that go wrong with the human brain, and a scientist will see this like the first time they really notice dementia or Alzheimer's and then they'll bring other people and they'll start studying it and when that happens then they want more people to study so there will be people who at the end of their life will say okay well I'll volunteer to be one of these people that have dementia or Alzheimer's so that they can be diagnosed with it over all these years so that doctors can look at it and diagnose it and figure out ways of treating it and curing it. That's what happens with all um, diseases. Uh, because, of course, the human body, if left alone, op operates completely, can heal itself, and has no problems with anything. But in the third dimension, a part of the contrast is having problems with the human body and having diseases and then having diseases and figuring out the cause and the cure and it's kind of like um, climbing to the top of that mountain uh, <clears throat> it's a part of the game it's a part of the game and uh, so Alzheimer's and dementia also is a part of that it's just one of the diseases that once somebody created this disease others will come in and they'll volunteer to have that disease so other people can come in and play the role of the scientist or the doctor that diagnosed it for the first time or finds a cure or uh, you know the whole process and then once that disease is cured 
then there'll be other diseases that are found and then diagnosed, then studied, then cured, then another disease and another disease, and that just keeps happening. It's a part of the third dimensional gameplay. And it will continue. On any planet that they have third dimension, the, that uh, diagnostic and disease process will continue. They'll just be different diseases. Okay, um, hopefully that answers the question about Alzheimer's and dementia. And also you might look in my old videos looking for Alzheimer's and dementia and watch that video as well. If you have any other questions about that, just uh, write them below and I'll try to get to them. Uh, yeah, that's it. I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you later. Huge hugs now. Bye.